Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making slow cooker mushroom and herb pork roast. Alright guys, I'm starting on a large bowl and I'm going to add in a 10 and a half ounce can of cream mushroom soup. Now this also calls for a 4 ounce can of mushrooms drained. But anybody that's been watching my videos knows my oldest son Eric cannot stand mushrooms. So I'm barely going to be able to sneak the cream of mushroom soup in here. Where if he weren't eating supper, I would throw the mushrooms in. But you go ahead and feel more than free to do that. Okay, now that I got my cream of mushroom soup in here, I have three quarters of a cup of chicken broth. That's going to go in there. I'm going to put in a shot of Worcestershire sauce. About a half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of pepper. Half a teaspoon of crushed rosemary. A half a teaspoon of ground thyme. Now this calls for a half a teaspoon of marjoram, but I didn't realize I was out of it or I would have thrown that in there. Okay, let me get in and stir this all up. Now I'm just going to set this aside for now. We're going to move on to the uh, pork loin or pork roast. Alright guys, I'm using my Ninja for this. I'm using the slow cooker setting. But you can go ahead and use a regular uh, slow cooker. That's no problem. I have a large onion that I did a rough dice on. You could also use two medium onions. I'm going to get that down in there. Okay. Now I have a 16 ounce bag of baby carrots. I'm going to go ahead and get them in there because this here is going to be our side vegetable to go with this. And I'm just going to get down in here and mix everybody together quick. Okay, part of my reach. Now I have a half of a pork loin that I cut in half. So this is a quarter of a pork loin cut into two pieces. I'm putting it fat side up in a slow cooker. And I cut it in half, that way there it'll cook quicker and get more tender. I'm going to take that cream and mushroom soup mixture we put together a minute ago and dump that in over top of this. Okay, let me grab my lid. I'm going to put my lid on here and I'm going to set this to slow cook for five hours. And then after that, we'll move on to the next step. And these tempered glass lids, let me tell you, they're tempered glass because I had my ninja up on a high shelf when I was bringing it down. The lid slid off and hit me in the head and bounced off onto the table. And, well, my head and the lid are fine. So my five hours up, I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, my five hours is up. Now, I said I wasn't going to put mushrooms in this, but Holly wanted to run to the Dollar Tree. So I decided to grab a thing of mushrooms while we were there. Airport side anyway, so you probably won't eat. So I had to add them in when I got back from the Dollar Tree, probably about two hours into cooking, three hours. I'm going to pull out the, the pork roast and let it rest. Dexter, shut up, I'm recording, and we're going to thicken up this uh, juice into a gravy. All right, guys, now that my roast is set aside, I turned my slow cooker up on slow cooker high. And I'm going to bring this up to a boil. I'm going to put in a cornstarch slurry. And we're going to thicken this up into a nice gravy or sauce. So I'll let this cook for a few minutes. And I'm going to stick it up, I'll bring you guys back. Alright guys, I left my pork roast rest for a few minutes and my gravy sticking up over there. Let's go ahead and cut into this. I guess I should use a, uh, a fork. But we'll do it with the tongs. As you can see, my pork is cooked through. It's nice and tender, it's flaking apart. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. I went ahead and served some gravy over top of the pork roast, and I have those carrots on the side we threw in in the beginning. And I went ahead and made some garlic mashed potatoes to go with this. So let me get in here and taste this. It's really good. My gravy's really savory. Taste of rosemary coming through on that. Ten or pork is nice and tender. I'm going to try some carrot. Carrots are tender, they're not mush. This is really good, guys. 
Okay, there you have it, guys. Slow cooker mushroom and herb pork roast. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see ya.